What's going on guys, it is Mike Edits here, and today I have a tutorial for a simple Fortnite thumbnail in Photoshop. And before we get into the video, be sure to check out my free thumbnail pack in the description below. It has over 200 thumbnails which are free to use. Alright, so in Photoshop we're going to make uh, start off with making a new canvas. I'm going to be making mine at 720p, but feel free to use whatever resolution you run. And I'm going to pick out one of my thumbnails, just one that looks pretty good. Right, so now that we've picked out a thumbnail we would like to use, um, just select it all, copy, and paste it into your new project. Now, as you can see, these shots are 1080p, and since I'm using a 720p workspace, I can resize it down, meaning that I can add rotation if I want, but I'm just simply just going to scale this one down to fit the canvas. So now that we have that, I'm just going to delete the background layer and make a quick duplicate and call this, rename it to background and then hide the other layer. So that layer there is just, just in case we accidentally stuff up something and can't undo it on this layer. So now we have our background up, um, we're going to make some text. So I'll just put, put my color to white and let's just say, so Fortnite highlights one. So that's a basic text, I'm just going to fix the settings a bit. Right, now we have our text, um, just resize it and place it wherever it looks good. And we can add a simple uh, drop shadow on it and just play around with the settings, find something that looks good. So you should do around uh, 8 to 10 for the drop shadow and put the opacity down to 50% just so it's not too dark. And we could go ahead and change some of the colors on the text, so let's just change this to maybe a bit like that, just to match the Victory Royale color. Now the next thing we're going to do is add a blur to the background to give a bit of a depth of field effect. So we'll come up to the filters, blur and add a Gaussian blur. Now you don't want to do too blurred or not blurred enough so I usually go between 2.5 and 3.5. As you can see 3.5 is a bit much so maybe just go 2.5 for this one. So it's looking good so far but now we need a character. So there's a great website called fnbr.co which actually has a bunch of renders of Fortnite outfits, harvesting tools, gliders, animotes and stuff like that. So feel free to check them out in the description as I'll be using one of the photos from this site. So I'm just going to go and pick, uh, let's pick out John Wick So I want him. I right click open a new tab, we get a much higher resolution, so we right click save as, and we'll just save it to on desktop, and I'll, and I'll just drag that into Photoshop as well. So now we have a high resolution photo of John Wick, which we can copy and paste, and place something like this. So this is looking pretty good as it is, but you can now go ahead if you want to get a bit more advanced and add color correction or some lighting effects. So I'm just going to add a bit of glow up the top half here, just with a white paint tool and then I'll add the layer option to soft light, just to brighten up the top half of the image a bit. Now I don't really like how it's overlapping on the Reaper skin here, so I'll just move that up to the top, and it looks good now. So yeah, you can just change around layer styles, maybe it's too bright, just turn the opacity down a tiny bit, maybe 75% looks good. So yeah, that's just a basic tutorial on how to make a really clean 
looking at Fortnite's thumbnail, you can go ahead and use this tutorial. I also have the template in the description for this exact thumbnail, so you can use it, change it around if you want, maybe rotate it, change the text, maybe resize the skin, reposition him, stuff like that. Or we could take the background and maybe resize it, add a bit of a rotation on it, stuff like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys later.